Hello everybody, welcome back to another video about Discord. Today we're going to be looking at an extremely controversial feature that they are going to be rolling out in the next couple of months. Now what this does is it removes discriminators from people's usernames and turns them into handles. In case you're unfamiliar with handles, it's basically what you see on Twitter. They're usernames with an at sign before them. People are enraged by this. And it's understandable because people have been paying for Nitro for years and years, and they want their custom 0001 discriminator, and now Discord is suddenly removing it. So it's understandable that people are upset about this, and it does change a lot of things. People are going to have to change their banners on other platforms like YouTube to put their new handle rather than using their old username with the discriminator. Anyways, I'd like to go through what the process will look like when you have to change your username. So as you can see, it says up here action needed update your username so if we click get started you'll see this new pop-up box show up and it will say okay it's time to update your username so we go down here and it says we're asking everyone to update to unique usernames at username from discriminators username hashtag 0000 you can update yours now this will just link to their support article which basically just says we have at usernames and we have display names. Display names are what people see. These are like server nicknames. So now we have these two articles. I will link to them below. This one is by the CTO of Discord and he just talks a little bit about it and their reasoning behind it. And this article gets into a bit more detail. When we see this box, it gives us like a little bit of information about what we have to do. And once we've read it, we can say get started. And this is where we can pick our display name. So I just say, okay, keep mine as Abby. We can add pretty much anything in here. You can even add uh, emojis to this. So we've got our display name figured out and then we want to select a username. So let's say I just want to keep mine Abby1956, which this was my discriminator, which will be going away soon. And once we're done, we just hit submit and it will save it. Anyways, that's what the process will look like. Make sure you check out these two blog articles and make sure that you share your thoughts down below in the comments. What do you think about this change? Peace.